never seems to fail. I left my phone at the house this morning and we had lambs. So she had twins, uh, has rejected one. So I'm getting the mug to milk her colostrum to feed the lamb in hopes that get it to smell like her and maybe she'll accept it. But if not, I want enough colostrum in, her, in him so that if we sell him or keep bottle feeding him, he's got a fighting chance. And that one will be finding a new home tomorrow because she just likes to jump every fence we have. Ned, you watching the babies? A hey, baby. And there's mom. We'll get some colostrum out of her and get him fed again. She calls to him, but the minute you put her him in here with her, she knocks him away. Good mama. So we got five ounces in him this morning. And I'm hoping we got five ounces into him this morning. And I'm hoping to get at least that much into him again. Quit messing with my camera, dude. But this is one of the U's that I bought. <coughs> I love the fact that she is super, super calm. Baby, I'm coming. Are you that hungry? Hey, 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 hey. Come on, mom. Mom, 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 mom. Mom. Nope. That's your baby. 
I know you don't want it to be, but it is. It's your baby. not happy about it. She's not trying to kill him either. Mom, no, 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 no. Good mom, let him eat. Pretty good belly on that one. See, she's calling to him. Uh, she just does not want him. Come here, baby. Let's get you a little bit more. About four ounces on this one. Top you off from what you had. Come here, dude. Almost. You're wheezing. That's it, dude. It's all that's left. So I will go back, come back again um, in about probably two, three hours and see if I can't get another. So that was probably, so four in here. So he probably took another five ounces and I bet he'd probably do more, but he's, he got a little in his lungs. So we're going to wait a bit. Give him another dose before bed tonight. Well, I'll probably do them again around five, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get him a big 
to get him through the night. But I need to get an orphan gate, you know, to, to uh, trap her head in. And my husband was going to make me one and just hasn't gotten around to it. But I think if we can get her, at least her head, because if I was holding her head, she let him nurse. It was when she turned around to see him that she started butting him. So I think I am going to let him nurse off her again tonight and rather than trying to supplement him at all. So, <laughs> dude, what are you doing? Hmm? Yeah, hi. But we got babies, I'm so excited. Finally. Now hopefully this means that those other girls will start, will start lambing. But like I said, she is one I bought last September. Uh, so not really sure who daddy is on these lambs. It's not one I own. I know that much. Oh goodness, hi. Come here. Oh, you are, you are so full. Dude, your belly. You are so full. Look at Look at how cute he is. I'm so excited. So this one's a boy, and the one she likes is a girl. So I guess that's good. If I was having to sell one of them, I would much rather sell the boy than the girl. But again, we don't know who Daddy is, so Daddy could be really good, which means we might keep him as a ram. Probably not, though. Okay. Okay. I gotta go back to work. So, back under the light. We did put a heat lamp in here for him, um, just because, but he doesn't really seem to want it. So, so yeah, now I'm just hoping that we will end up with some lambs. But nobody really even acts like they care. Well, I don't know. According to all my records, these guys should have started lambing on the 18th. So today's the 21st. Nobody even remotely looks like they're going to lamb. And my first group should have started lambing on the 14th if they were gonna lamb again, or if they were gonna lamb on their second heat. So I, look out, they're huge. You know, she's carrying babies. She's carrying babies. Yeah, her, it's hard to tell. Just not sure when they're gonna drop. So we just keep crossing our fingers, hoping and praying.
about 10.30. We're doing our last check for the night. And no moms, no babies. So we're gonna go ahead and feed this little guy one more time. It has been a day. Uh, we started the day putting his pickup back together that we've been working on for a while and so that we could take it to town, easy mama, to take those sheep to town for the sale. So we ended up selling the one ewe that ended up having the triplets that died this year and last year. We, easy mama, good girl, good mom. We took the one jumper that jumps every single fence and that was a rodeo because she busted down a gate. We had to chase her around the barnyard before we finally got her in the trailer. And then I also took the one ewe that aborted early in December and one of the ram lambs, actually two of my, ooh, no mama, two of my ram lambs that uh, just weren't growing the way I wanted them to for keepers. So we took them with all those weathers that were born in September. And now we're home. And so I have to wean the rest of those ewe lambs that were born in September. So I'm going to pull them off their moms and we're gonna put them back in the same pen they were in uh, and then put the moms out with the rest of the flock. So that is like the next 30 minute project. And then it'll probably be feeding time. And I'm really hoping this ewe is gonna take this lamb, but it is not looking promising. If I sit here with her and she has her lamb by her face, she'll let this other one nurse. But if we try to put it in, or if I am not paying attention to her and I step away or just don't keep my hand where I, it can stop her from button him, she will headbutt him into the panel, so. Um, but he is, he is nursing, so we're not having to milk her out. We're not having to uh, bottle feed him or anything. And she's actually pretty congenial, but like I said, I have to stay here. So as long as I sit here with my hand on her, Oh, are we done? I think you're almost done. But her lamb is under there somewhere. Hi, Mom. Oh, all right. I think he's done, so I'm going to go ahead and put him back in his pen and then uh, set the gates up so I can get these ewes separated. <coughs> so moms, I'm gonna go out with the rest of the flock and babies are going to stay in. Hi. Ooh. Okay, change of plans. We're keeping them indoors off this spot here that way we can keep them inside and kind of dry and start feeding them some grain come on girls come on mamas yeah, if you had stayed on the path, you wouldn't be wallered. We only weaned 11 of them, but they are so loud. We did take all the moms out to the big flock, so 
out of sight, out of mind, hopefully out of hearing. This won't last very long. We did put Bon Jovi in and he's thinking he's pretty hot stuff right now. But uh nobody's really giving him the time of day. But I didn't really want to put him in with these ewe lambs, and I'm not quite ready to put him in with the big boys. So we're just gonna leave. Bon Jovi toast and muffin in here for now and then we'll go ahead and move them out probably into that pen in a couple of days. Some days you make do with what you got. It is a mucky ucky mess in there so rather than them tromping the hay into more muck we opted to feed them on this side of the panels. So, uh, hopefully it'll work. And this was a big deciding factor into why we kept those ewe lambs inside. Oh yeah, feeding time makes all the difference.